Good morning, everybody. Everyone, just want you to know how meaningful it is to us, all the prayers and all the support that we're getting from all over the world. Um, Israel is moving forward with this difficult war, but thank God it looks like we are achieving many of our goals, of course, at a very great price. But I wanted to share with you something from this week's Torah portion that I think is a very relevant lesson, both to what's going on in the world, in Israel, and also on a very personal level for each and every one of us in our own lives. There's a weird uh, moment over here where right before God decides to destroy the city of Sodom, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, he says, I'm going to go down and descend into this place and see if in fact their sin is as bad as it sounds. So something like that, I'm paraphrasing. Um, which is so bizarre because the, God doesn't need to go down into the city of Sodom and Gomorrah to see how bad the sin is. He's God. He knows, right? He can easily have that knowledge without going anywhere. And in fact, it's actually not the first time we see this type of language in the Torah. Earlier, two weeks ago, in the Parsha that describes the story of the Tower of Babel and the evil sin of the of the individuals involved in that building project, he says something similar. He says that it says that Hashem went down and descended to look at the city, then the tower that man had built before he came to the conclusion that this tower had to be destroyed. And there's something very important that we learn here. Rashi tells us this. God is teaching us a lesson. Why does the Torah need to even tell us this? Because God is trying to teach us something very important and very simple but very hard to do. And that is, don't jump to conclusions. See things first, check it out yourself. See with your own eyes before you condemn, before you criticize, before you cast dispersion, before you destroy somebody publicly. First, make sure it's true. That's what God was doing. He doesn't need to go down into Sodom and Gomorrah to make sure that the sin is as bad as it seems. He's God. He knows. He knows everything. He doesn't need to go look, go down to the Tower of Babel and see what they're doing and see if their sin is indeed worthy of destruction of the, of the tower and the dispersion of the people. That's absolutely clear to him. So what's he doing? He's trying to set an example for us that before we condemn and before we judge, we have to have the facts straight. Now, first of all, this applies on a global level, on a macro level, with what's going on in the world and the way the media and the way people all over the world are so ready and so quick to condemn Israel for the terrible crimes that they're committing. And the perfect example of that was two weeks ago, when a hotel, not a hotel, a hospital, when a hospital in Gaza blew up and killed some 500 um, innocent people that were sick in the hospital. And right away, without a second, without a hesitation, the New York Times plastered, plastered over the headlines and all over the world for hundreds of millions of people to see, Israel bombs hospital in Gaza, killing hundreds of innocents. And then it says, according to Hamas sources. Did you check it out? Did you find out if it's true? Did you verify it? Nope. Well, guess what? It wasn't true. It was a misfired rocket from Hamas that they later admitted to that destroyed that hospital. But it's too late. The message has been broadcasted all over the world and it's too late. And not only that, but in this particular case, it it spawned a, a, a blood libel. It spawned rampant anti-Semitism, anti-Israel rallies all over the world. Okay, later on the back page somewhere, they apologized for their mistake and they said that it turns out that it wasn't Israel who did that, it was Hamas. Get the facts straight before you report things, before you condemn, before you judge, before you point the finger, make sure you know what you're talking about. This also applies, perhaps more importantly, in our own lives, in our own homes, with our own children and our spouses and the people close to us. Sometimes we have to criticize, sometimes we have to um, rebuke, or sometimes we're upset with somebody because something happened. 
but make sure you know what you're talking about first. See for yourself. Hashem goes down into Sodom and Gomorrah to see with his own eyes before he judges them and condemns them to destruction. And the same thing with the Tower of Babel. If you have to say something to somebody, make sure you know firsthand that it's true. We have a little custom in our house that, and this is not this is something that I remember my kids brought home from school many years ago, that if we falsely, if somebody falsely accuses somebody of doing something which they didn't do, then right away, they have to give them a blessing, give them a bracha, right? So, you know, you accuse one of your kids, you left the milk out overnight, and then it turns out that actually your wife did it. Okay, so you have to go to that child and say, I wanna give you a blessing that you should be successful in your Torah studies or that you should you know, become a great tzaddik or whatever the blessing is that you wanna give them. We have to slow down and not jump to conclusions and not judge people immediately. Make sure we know what we're talking about. Make sure we find the facts out first. Hashem does that, and we have to do it as well. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom from Yerushalayim.